Good morning and welcome to a new video. Day 6 of our photo trip to Svalbard. And today we are going as far north as we can get to the ice edge. We have a lot of ice around the boat and uh, now we are just searching for any kind of wildlife and hopefully we have a new encounter with the polar bear. We never know. Cross fingers. We couldn't find any wildlife in the fog and decided to leave the ice edge and head it to Phipps Island. This island has been a very good place to spot polar bears. We discovered several tracks of polar bears but weren't lucky to spot any bear that day. In 2018, a German tourist guide was attacked by a polar bear on this island and survived. But unfortunately, the bear didn't. Suddenly, a group of walruses popped up just in front of our zodiac. We discovered that they had a four to six month old calf with them. So we kept distance and left after a few minutes. On our way back to the ship, we found another group of walruses resting on some rocks.
Shortly afterwards, we left Phipps Island and searched for more wildlife. And in the evening, we got lucky again. Yes! You see, let me see this mountain there. Up just there around where my fingers. There is a mother bear with her cub resting and or sleeping between some rocks. We just arrived in this fjord. Uh, it's, I think it's around 11. Uh, PM now uh, and when we arrived uh, we saw first our guide or our guides or one bear walking up there and then we saw that our two guy uh, bears and then uh, they were chasing actually a reindeer uh, they didn't caught it but uh, and now they are resting perfect and this is uh, on this trip bear number five and six the first uh, bear or the first two bears number one and two was his mother with her cup this this year's cup resting this almost snow cave then we had this male polar bear uh, which were eating on this seal and then we had I think it was today or was it yesterday I completely lost time uh, I think it was today where we had a bear very high up in the mountain uh, were on this island where we were driving around but uh, never get close to the bear. Uh, that's number four and then five and six. So the plan now is just standing here with the boat uh, and waiting if there's some movements and we might get closer. The zodiacs are in the water. All other photographers are in the baths and sleeping. Our guides are up and they will wake up uh, everyone if bear is coming down here. If they're coming down here and, and walking along the shoreline then we might get a bit closer with the zodiacs and are able to get some uh, photos and videos. I personally don't think the mother will come down here but you never know. I believe she don't want to get too close to us so she might go over there and then she uh, disappears and then we won't chase it. We won't so we won't uh, drive on the other side just to find her. Yes, it's three o'clock in the morning. It hasn't been much activity, but uh, for the last 30 minutes, the cub was a little bit uh, active. And then uh, the mother were feeding the cub, and now they walked a little bit higher up. Not really much, but they are a little bit higher up here. There's the area around. Oh, now they're walking.
Yeah, they walk high up. Um, I don't think they will come down as long as we are here, but you never know. We didn't want to disturb the bears, so we left the area and were heading for another walrus colony. On our way we passed several smaller icebergs and floating ice. And at some point, fog again coated the surroundings of our ship and created a mystic light and landscape. In the evening, we reached the walrus colony and went to shore. We found a small group of walruses laying on the beach. One of our guides was on polar bear watch while we were photographing the walruses. I focused mainly on a few walruses in the water where I could put some floating ice in the foreground. <laughs> 